This is Matt Parry from MPTC Tennis and Alfred Perry. So we're in the second part of the perfect ball toss series. Today we're going to go through two drills that I hope are going to help you develop your ball toss. What I want you to remember during all of these drills is to do all the things that we did in the biomechanics section in video one. So we keep our arms straight, we keep our elbows locked, we make sure that our wrist is not active during the serve, we make sure we have a slow rhythm and we make sure that the ball is placed somewhere in the cup part of the hand. So it's not in the palm and it's not in the fingers. So today what's gonna happen is Superwoman Sarah is gonna come in to show us how the drill's gonna work. So she's going to come to the wall, she's gonna get her feet right, she's going to stretch up to her maximum stretch and pick out a brick. Then she is going to look at a brick six to eight inches above that. And then she is going to practice her ball toss. And this is going to practice two things. It's going to first and foremost practice the right height. And second, it's going to practice slightly throwing that ball out in front. As that's where you'd want to get it in a proper tennis serve. So if you notice, she's going for a slow rhythm. She's also using a tennis racket to simulate an actual serve. I don't want you just stood by a wall throwing the ball in the air without a racket because that's not how the rhythm of the serve works. So we'll let her do two more goes and she's just looking to find that brick which is six to eight inches above the height. Obviously on that one's a little bit fast. One more. Excellent. So that's drill number one. Drill number two. So this time, Sarah's going to put a bucket or a bin or anything that you've got that could catch a ball slightly in front and ever so slightly to the right hand side of her front foot. So she's again going to check her feet. She's going to use a racket. And this time we're going to be working on the accuracy of the ball toss. She's still looking to get the correct height. And what she's going to do is she's going to let the ball fall after the ball yes. and see how far off the bucket she is. And she should, with a little bit of practice, be able to get that ball to land somewhere in that area of the bucket. Excellent one, that. Excellent. So again, you're going to do this for maybe five, ten minutes. Do it four or five times across a few weeks. Thinking about the biomechanics of the arm all the time, using a racket. And eventually this should start to get somewhere in the area of that bucket. That's a brilliant throw. Okay, two more. Keep the rhythm slow, fantastic ball toss. And as you can see, it's already looking better. Hinge from the shoulder, no wrist. Brilliant. Well done, Sarah. Practice that, guys. Hope it helps. Hello, everyone. Thank you for watching the MPTC Tennis Coaching videos. If you have enjoyed the videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, MPTC Tennis, and follow the Matt Parry Tennis Coaching and Racket Stringing Service Facebook page. Thank you.